What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and how do you counter a Rook Titan if you just bring enough rocket explosion firepower, like for example with Oxy and Argon? In this video, we're gonna counter many, many, many Rook Titans, and uh, also um, we'll we'll fight some clan dudes later who are utilizing a Rook, an Indra, and uh, a Nodens, um, and uh, but they don't count in the firepower that comes from these freezing rockets that go right through the physical shields on the Rook. It's really one of the uh, few ways to deal with a Rook Titan uh, quickly and effectively. And so in this video we're actually utilizing that overpowered Rook ourselves to carry those guns into the enemy base. And in this one is crazy, you see the enemy th enemy team literally had three Crisis Reaper setups to bully our team. Insane. Can you believe it? Three Creeper Rises... Uh, no. <laughs> creeper Rises setups in the enemy base, yeah. Uh, so. Let's get a, get rid of those creeper rises uh, and <laughs> also they had a Demeter protecting them as well. Like seriously, dudes, are you bringing enough craziness over there? Uh, the area effect even pushed away the crisis up there, which is interesting. Uh, the Demeter is going to kill himself. That's great. That uh, that dude is gone. Uh, and yeah, from now on we should be able to have some fun with the enemy team. Uh, because those crises are no longer safe. That Rook is now here, and I'm just waiting for my chance to fly up and uh, attack. But first, let's get rid of that Seraph, because uh, he's annoying. So, pop, there we go. Alrighty. So, I'm ready to fly up. I'm just waiting for them to drop their stealth, because even if, uh, you know, if I fly up, I can't attack them, because they're in stealth, these Reapers. And, of course, they're smart enough to understand that they just wa need to walk somewhere else. So, two of them walk to the other side now. I would have done the same thing if I was them. I would not want to stand right next to that Titan. So, another one of those Reapers is gone, and one more jumped down. But from there, he doesn't really have much, uh, much he can do, uh, and he can't really hurt my team from there anymore. So, basically, effectively we taken out all three uh, Reaper setups out of the game uh, and uh, yeah so now the problem however content is starts you see I have a really good position up here because this is team deathmatch that means the enemy does not have a spawn point on this elevated position they are spawning down here um, uh, where my mouse cursor is when they want to spawn as close as possible to me um, and that means I can really have a very good angle on them when they spawn the problem is the uh, oxy and argon as freezing rockets with continuous reload will very quickly eventually run out of firepower and that's really nasty so he just suppressed me with his nodens uh, so I was waiting for that suppression to wear off and now I'm showing up all my physical shoots to him um, so that he can't really you know uh, drop me um, too good. That's the good thing uh, we have with these physical shields. Of course, we can block all that um, sonic weapon firepower by turning around, uh, and this way we don't die, which any other Titan, of course, would do. Uh, but um, yeah, this way I was able to get rid of that Nodens, um, but it took a lot of HP off of me because I was low on ammo when he came. The battle began and I had zero ammo. I was completely empty dealing with that. Mars robot um, that attacked me and so it's a really bad condition when you have these sonic weapons coming at you and you're zero weapons zero loaded with those freeze rockets it's bad it takes so long to charge it up enough charge it up enough to kill an entire Nodens Titan um, with it so yeah and then he suppresses you every time you unload and it's really annoying but we got rid of him and now I have this crazy good position but the problem is after I killed the next Titan I'm flying up and I just wanted to shoot from up here, and somehow my brain triggered uh, the jump. So I'm jumping down there. Of course, as usual, I jump too far or not far enough, and my stupid uh, uh, rook jump doesn't make it. And then comes the fully loaded Minos with battleship support, instant fix, uh, reflector, fully loaded guns. That's what happens when you're in the enemy base, man. You're in the enemy base. They will have six titans ready to spawn with 100% loaded ammo. 100% of their abilities ready, 100% HP, and you're there in the middle of trying to somehow survive with zero ammo, half HP, and abilities constantly on cooldown. Uh, so you, it's the worst thing. So you die. Uh, don't be in the enemy base. It's, it's actually that simple. The Rook can do it, but I made a mistake. I left my position. I should have stayed up there. That was a really good spot to be on, uh, on this elevated spot, and I jumped down, and that was really the biggest mistake. Here you see we're dropping uh, enemy Luchador. It seems like he didn't want to use his uh, reflector before he made it onto the beacon. He wanted to capture the beacon 
Uh, and so he walked all the way onto that reflector, you know, onto that beacon before he activated the reflector. Not exactly the best idea there when a million freeze rockets fly your way. Anyways, so we're now taking a lot of damage from those claw jaw talon. It's ridiculous, man. Seriously, just look at that. I'm a freaking Rook Titan with 800,000 HP and insane amounts of resistance. Here comes the clan boys I was talking about with his uh, angler and the claw jaw talon. Ridiculous weapons. It's just ridiculous. Look at the damage I'm taking. Look at this. It's like a Titan is firing at me and that's not the hawk. The Hawk is doing a bit of that, but it's really the Claw Jaw Talon doing this. Weapons that completely ignore uh, physical shields because they have splash damage. I if you ask me, these teeny tiny mini rockets shouldn't really even have much splash damage at all, but they do. Um, and they have this perfect accuracy. The ridiculousness of the firepower they offer is just... I know they're gonna. There, there's a nerf introduced. That, sh that, that, that nerf is, in my opinion, heavily needed, but in, again, not the nerf is needed. It's what's needed is that they nerf that they balance things from the beginning right and not always make them too powerful at first and then buff it and nerf it later. That's what really it pisses me off. Let's be honest, man. I hate this kind of uh, thing. But um, yeah, these these weapons, even when you run Titans, it's like a Titan is shooting you uh, with these jaw claw talon. It's really it's it feels like a Titan shooting you because this is the firepower they bring. So getting rid of this hawk. Uh, and now that comes the moment you see the enemy is bringing um, for, uh, This uh, this Rook Titan. There's also a Nodens down there And I think there's a Indra from the clan boys as well So we have three Titans to deal with at the same time basically But the fact that the Rook Titan has the ability to jump up gives you an, a, an advantage Like I had in the previous match I can reach this high altitude high position or in this match, I can also be on a position where they can't all three uh, just engage me. I can move backwards and behave uh, and and position myself where only one of them can actually attack me at a time. Here he's coming up. He wants to deal with me. He knows the danger. I'm just turning around and showing all my physical shields from side to side, and that basically made it so that he did zero damage to me. He came up here with his Rook Titan. Replacing just now his physical shields to heal up um, And he came up here fully loaded and he didn't do any damage to me And now it's the moment for my Rook Titan to show him how this setup is meant to counter his So we're now flying up We're suppressing him with our jump and uh, unloading that entire uh, Argon Oxy Not even the entire one because we only unloaded about 75% and the Rook was gone Maybe it wasn't a fully max Rook yet It could be but I believe that the firepower of a fully loaded Oxy and Argons are actually enough to deal with a fully maxed Rook as well. So it may have been nearly maxed or something. I, I don't really know exactly, but um, the firepower from these weapons would allow, I think, a full kill. And he already used that replacement of his shield, so he did not have any mid fight healing ready. And here you see he's trying to shoot me down from up there, from down there. He shoot me. Yeah, from down there, uh, but I was just always walking back so that only my weapons are basically sticking out And he can never at no given time actually deal full damage to me um, And uh, and that was really the key to getting this uh, this thing destroyed there uh, Without taking too much of my uh, of damage. I used the battleship here to engage the enemy Nodens, but yeah, he's going down and uh, so that was all three titans that we dealt with now and we are still at 600,000 HP So we're still basically at the amount of HP you would have when you jump in with the full rook or a little less But why do we have that? It's because um, we have double, double nuclear, no, double uh, durability extender every time I use the battleship And here comes what happens all the time That rook titan just never jumps how, it's, how it needs to be I can never just jump where I want to jump I, I'm always either flying too far or I land uh, too short on some kind of little stone that's between me and the target uh, In this case it was this tiny stupid thing here that blocked my fall or my jump I believe or was it these things? I don't know and uh, and that's why I didn't get to jump on the uh, thing But interestingly enough, I was able to hold on to this uh, Platform by walking forward and having my weapons basically stuck on it And my idea was to wait for the cooldown to jump up turn around and then jump up so I can fly again and then jump somewhere uh, but I couldn't do it because the timing uh, the match ended in between So yeah, we're taking apart the life server here big time with this rook 6 million damage 10 kills Of course, I didn't capture any beacons because I basically just hang up there uh, But 
I believe by dealing with three of these enemy titans that would have really otherwise dam uh, heavily dominated our team. Also, I freed up the beacon from uh, so attackers, making it impossible for my team to cap it. I did. I, I believe I did make a good contribution to that as well, even though technically I did not capture any of the beacons myself. So here we go with another luchador. I caught him jumping away. So I, sh I first his reflector was already used, and then I shot him after his reflector, forced him to jump away, and then I just jump after him and uh, and of course he has no jump and no reflector left and that means he's dead um, and that really is basically the end of him here comes another lucha spawning in immediately using his jump ability uh, I just replaced my shield and I decided not to go for the lucha who still has his reflector instead I'm going for the aether titan who I know already had his flight ability used a second earlier and um, he's reloading now my physical shield in the front is still there because energy weapons deal um, no double damage against physical shields, so he really has a hard time going through those energy shields and uh, Despite the entire team or half the entire team half the team firing at me uh, I'm still able to basically absorb most of the damage with the physical shields um, Replace them at will and uh, and also drop the rest of that aether Afterwards we can jump in on the lucha which probably still has his reflector and yep indeed he does um, I used the battleship extended my health more uh, recharging my weapon in the meantime uh, and filling up my shields uh, to fresh full durability which is very useful in this situation because lots of things are shooting me and here comes even an angler uh, to deal with I don't want to get blinded so I fly up and uh, decide to go for yeah for the Imugi I know he's going to start stealth flying but I still able to deal a bit of damage to him and now that the angler had his ability I know I can drop him very quickly so you see we're in the enemy base here where enemy ha even spawning titans on us many robots from different angles shooting us uh, but there is basically nothing they can do this 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 rook titan is just too powerful it's just impossible to really effectively get rid of it uh, unless you bring two or three titans at the same time like we had in the first match there the enemy team was able to kill kill me because I jumped myself I made a mistake I jumped into a three on one there with no ammo and no half HP abilities not ready and so on so um yeah that was my own fault and I got myself killed but you know in most situations with this titan you're just gonna end up not taking any real damage look I'm taking zero damage right now I have like the entire team there on me and I take next to no damage what, what, how ridiculous is this this rook titan is a real problem and this is even without the pilots the titan pilots will be coming in any day now and it's going to ruin it even further it's gonna get to the point where uh, what you gonna do about this titan titans are already so much more powerful than robots you can see it here the entire enemy team with all their robots were unable to kill this freaking rook what are they gonna do when the rook comes twice as powerful next time or more than twice as powerful uh probably with the titan pilots um uh yeah not a good idea just not a good idea period um uh, what pff. Whatever, uh, but this was, uh, I wanted to give you a, w a video here with the life server on and the cryo weapons because I haven't really used them much on the uh, life server ever since they came into the game. And also, of course, using it on the Rook to be up to date with um, a setup that uh, it's probably um, something interesting for people to run. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, overpowered Rook that I really don't agree with in any way. But I've sm made plenty of videos. This thing's broken from the beginning till the end and the pilots are going to make it even worse. So yeah, let's enjoy all that. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.